Team Golarami's got you for the next 21 days. All right, let's go. What's up? No intro. Straight into the vid. Like, comment, subscribe. Do all that right now. Boom. Let's go. Started. So we've talked about shooting a whole bunch, shooting with power and accuracy. You can find all those videos and stuff. But what's more important is the art of finishing, of actually putting the ball where it needs to go when the time calls for it. So that's what we're gonna look at today. All right, so as you can see, we start with B and I just taking a couple shots from the PK spot. It's a warm up. We wanna get comfortable in this position. You wanna be comfortable in this position. That's how you score goals. You have to be calm and ready to place the ball in the back of the net, especially in positions like this. So make sure that when you come out to training, instead of ripping the ball a million miles an hour from outside the box, trying to hit into the upper 90 every time, that you take a second, grab a teammate, and you do these first. This should be first. It should be a rhythm thing. You should wanna come out and you should wanna get your 25 shots from inside. So it, it is natural for you when you get to the game. These are very easy drills to set up, which is why you cannot ignore them because they're extremely important for strikers, attacking players, wingers, anybody who's gonna be in front of goal. So as you can see, we now are taking the balls out of the air and I'm using the inside of my foot, which is a point that we wanted to make today is that you don't have to swing so hard every time you're trying to put the ball in the back of the net, especially when you're inside the box. As you can see, B lofting the ball all the way over Tyler from way out, not gonna be possible with a full in step. And the full in step is this right here. All right, so as we get into these half volleys here, you can see that we wanna strike the ball down. We wanna get over the ball because there's a tendency when the ball is bouncing to just smash it as hard as it can and more often than not, that's gonna send the ball way over the bar. So whether or not you strike the ball down into the ground, you at least wanna get over it enough that you can make the goalie give us a reaction, okay? And you can see somebody like Mesut Ozil is excellent at hitting the ball down and into the ground, making the goalie have to react to his shot rather than just watching it sky over the bar. Now we get to most people's favorite type of volley, which is making it dip, which means that you can take this shot from way far out and still make it challenging on the goalie. And you can see that in the clips we're showing here from, from my games that even though I'm way far out, the goalie still has a hard time reacting to it. And sometimes they can't even react at all. It just goes up and goes down straight in the goal. So check out day 18 of the 21 day challenge if you wanna learn more about volleys in the air. So if you wanna be able to take a shot like this, you've got to point your toes down when you're going to strike the ball. You've gotta strike it with the full end step right here, maybe even a little lower sometimes, all right? Extend your foot out a little bit. There's all sorts of ways to do this. So make sure you look right now, as you can see, B and I taking a couple. He extends his foot. That one goes straight over Tyler. He slices this one because that'll make it tougher as well. Tyler's a good job of dropping back on these. So guys, there's tons of different ways to make the ball dip. You can slice and dip it, and this one, baller. Holy smokes, that was sick. Wow. You can see the dip on that. Look at the goalkeeper, <laughs> devastated. You cannot feel good after getting a score on like that. So as you guys can see, we structured this training in a way that's gonna take you from a progression of the shots that you are more likely to see, the ones that you have to be comfortable finishing, to the ones that you're less likely to see. So that's the way you need to be training when you go out to practice your finishing. What position are you gonna be in? What position are you most likely to be in in the game? Bet on that and train that first. And then you can work on your bicycle kicks and you can see as we're just messing around here, taking a few bicycle kicks, take some overhead kicks, if you guys really want us to do a bicycle kick tutorial, stuff like that, we can obviously do that if you guys aren't quite able to get a scissor kick or a bicycle kick down. So that's the vid. Guys, make sure to subscribe, make sure to like, click that bell notification button, check us out on Instagram, Snapchat, all that stuff. We love you guys, we will see you guys later, all right? Peace. Yo, Raimi, Fasola, hit his goal, Lou, Raimi, control all them boys from Kansas City, where they know we got the
them tricks. We get it how we live it, know we all about them kicks. Work.